Hey, ¿qué pasa, Calexico? Welcome back to the podcast. Um, today we have three very special guests. Um, all three of them are Calexico High School seniors, but they're also part of the Calexico Theater Company. Um, we have Stephanie, Ariana, and Danielle. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Um, can you tell us a little bit about uh, what the Calexico Theater Company is all about? Who wants to take the lead here? Well, I'll start. Basically, um, what we do is we give our members the chance to really put themselves out there. And if they've been wanting to act on stage or something, we make sure to have plays that they can audition for. And it's just a good chance for people to try new stuff. If you like painting, you can join our set design and stuff. And it's just a really good opportunity to show your love for the arts. Yeah, I had a I had a uh, opportunity to talk to Mr. Alvarado. Uh, I think it was like two years ago, and you know he we were talking about what what the Calexico Theater Company is all about, and you know it's a big big production. You know, like you said, you yeah, have, it's not only actors; it's people yeah. that like to do set design. Uh, yeah. people that like to do audio stuff you know it's basically yeah. like yeah, it's a, much more than just actors like just people backstage helping set up everything like there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes yeah mm. definitely yeah yeah something mm -hmm. that i when i spoke to and i was like oh well you know it, it is true like most of us only think about you know the people on stage but you yeah know, there's, especially you know the productions that um you know the Calexico theater company is uh, puts out you know where it's you know big sets you know uh costumes audio and all that stuff um yeah yeah overall how are you guys doing you know how are you guys dealing with this whole um you know being away from this distance distance learning uh distance um, learning oh, well wow. i think it's been hard yeah i agree it's been really hard yeah. to concentrate Con yeah i think yeah that's i mean because it's more like you're not it's not hands-on like when we have yeah. like lectures or anything we're not there to ask questions or talk to the teacher see like their slideshows and their presentation now we have to really put like a lot of time into figuring it out ourselves and if we have questions then we have to also wait because maybe they're not online on their emails or anything um i think it's a little more difficult honestly yeah, and there's just so many more distractions here at home. Yeah, I think it. I think it goes both both ways because I've had the chance yeah. to talk to teachers, and you know that's something that they mention also that it's hard for them to, you know, especially when they have kids at home. You know, it's hard for them to like sit down and say like, "Oh, I'm gonna dedicate this hour to my second period," when yeah. you have a little kid, you know, running around and yeah you know needing your attention so yeah mm -hmm. overall i think that's one of the biggest even though some people might think like oh it's easier because i'm on my own um for some people it is harder because um other, the other thing that i've you know talked to with other teachers is that you know when you go away to college a lot of times you need to do like online courses or um you know some of the teachers might be out or whatever and this is kind of like the way they handle um online cl classes so in a way it's kind of yeah. you know getting you guys ready for you know that kind of scenario mm -hmm. if, yeah. you, if you choose to decide you know you know what i'm gonna take yeah. online classes mm -hmm. oh, yeah definitely um have yeah. you guys talked to all besides mr because i know you guys have been talking to mr because he was really whenever i spoke to him like right away you guys you know started emailing me um have you guys been able oh, yeah. to contact all of your teachers right well i've been on zoom yeah. with a couple of my other teachers yeah mostly just to catch up like what's going on yeah. about like homework and stuff yeah mostly what? just to prepare for the exams yeah, yeah. what about you yeah. ariana or, like if they like assign something and you're like having a hard time yeah like if you're signing if they're signing something and like you're having like questions and stuff um yeah, you just comment and stuff. I mean, some of them like answer relatively quickly, but others like they take a while to answer. But yeah. yeah. And what about like your friends from school? Have you guys been, you know, keeping in touch through, I don't know, like Zoom or um, what is it? iChat or I, I don't have an iPhone, so I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes when, like when the teacher yeah. makes them, we have a chance to just talk to the students and it's a nice way to still keep in touch with them. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, mostly now it's mostly technology. So like texting and I, uh, FaceTime and all these things mm -hmm. are still here. So I think um, that comes in handy a lot right now. 
So yeah, yeah I've been in touch with a lot of my friends. I mean, um, leadership, theater, um, friends are outside of theater. Yeah, I think I've been in touch with them yeah. as much as I could. So yeah, you guys are lucky that. Yeah, you know, me you too. Guys have the... I mean, you kind of have to like make sure that they're awake. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah i think everybody's you know sleeping pattern is all out of whack right now yeah everyone's... definitely mm-hmm. yeah. and then now that you know today's like one of the first days where it's like super hot oh Tomorrow's yeah it's gonna be like in the oh. hundreds so like now mm-hmm. people are gonna even mm-hmm. try to sleep in some more because who wants to be out awake during the heat huh yeah, yeah. um yeah. and uh going back to like school school related stuff um were you guys aware that you know all these services are still available like counseling you know if you need to talk to a nurse yeah 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 our team our teachers like do like yeah. let us know in the google classrooms like um they let us know if anything like important like updates um like yeah. counselors psychologists all that yeah they let like us make announcements they'll post yeah. them and they let us know about the breakfast and the lunches yeah they're always Sorry. reminding us about that mm-hmm. i've already gotten a few myself mm-hmm. yeah yeah, uh, whenever I, I don't feel like cooking for my son, I'll go get him some some food too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, they're they they come really handy, you know. People yeah, might it's think really like, good. yeah, people mm-hmm. people might think, oh, it's cafeteria food. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um. What What were some of the productions or plays that you guys were working on that you know got got postponed because of this whole pandemic thing? Well, we were working on producing Breaking the News. It's basically a satire, so we were going to perform it on February, no, on April, but oh. it got canceled because of the virus. Yeah. It really sucks because we were all really excited, but yeah. hopefully the theater company is able to produce it in the future. Like, yeah. Maybe next year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I was thinking whenever I was watching, um, I don't know if you guys watched Saturday Night Live. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. I was thinking of you guys because I was watching the, you know how they did the whole online um, uh, show. Was it last yeah. weekend? Yeah, I saw it. I was it. like, I wonder if you guys had, you know, have you guys talked about, you know, maybe like putting something like that on, like, um, you know, like an online little mini skit production. Well, we've definitely thought about it, but we just can't really figure out how that would work because I yeah. feel like maybe a lot of us wouldn't be able to get on at the same time and it would just be really complicated to figure out what would work best for everyone yeah definitely and it's more rehearsal time and like with virtually i don't know how yeah. that would work we've been trying to keep in touch with everyone though like yeah. we have Zoom meetings with everyone just to stay in touch and make sure everyone's been doing good yeah and i feel like it would be like yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because yeah. Uh, yeah, I was watching it and I was like, you know, that, that, that and I looks... feel like if we were to have like that like, virtually, like we wouldn't have given the same like effect. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it is it is kind of like not not the same, but you know, I, I thought it would it would be kind of fun or funny to like, you know, put on something like that. <laughs> yeah, um, it was really funny, honestly, when I was watching it. Um, I, I, I've watched Saturday Night Live since I was a kid so like seeing that was so different but it was still so funny like they still have that like positivity to show like um, humor and everything and I, I really enjoyed it honestly yeah I think that uh, I'm getting flashbacks of the uh, the Zoom meeting the ones the <laughs> once again the Zoom meeting <laughs> Yeah. yeah. No, that's funny because um, I was watching it and then I was like I sent it to one of my coworkers yeah. and we were like Oh, you know, this lady was so and so from work, and this other lady was so and so from work. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Um. What is What are some of the things that you guys miss the most from you know just not being in school in general? I guess what I miss the most is just being surrounded by a lot of people. Like even people that I wouldn't think I would talk to. Like I miss having them around. Yeah. Like Definitely. I just miss communicating with a bunch of different people. And I feel like even if it's through text, it's just not the same thing. Like I enjoy hearing people's conversations and stuff. Yeah. I think that's what I miss the most. Um I I feel like <laughs> um like <laughs> I keep like people were laughing. I know. Go ahead, Ariana. Oh, I'm sorry. Um I feel like 
it was a lot easier to be able to like go to school like actual school because mm-hmm. then right then right then and there you could be able to like ask a question and have it answered and I didn't think it would be like harder to do something online than it was at school like it's totally different than I was expecting yeah definitely I agree yeah though just uh, just the whole routine in general it's like you know, days are like so out of whack right now that you know, just yeah. I, like to me, I like I miss having that routine. Like you know, I think up. what I miss, yeah, it's like having a schedule every day because it was always the same classes, the same time, and I guess I miss that because they just made everything seem more like in order. Yeah, and even, like working, even like being excited for Friday, right? Like oh, it's yeah, Friday. or like days of like pep rallies yeah. or something. <laughs> Have you guys yeah. been now? Um, every day just feels the same. Yeah, yeah. yeah Have you guys been um, active with the whole? You know, we had that virt- virtual spirit week, and yeah, I've seen it. yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, I've definitely participated in some. Like, mm-hmm. uh, I think it was yearbook that was making one. It was really nice. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw those. Yeah, I thought it was really cute. I thought it was really really cute. <laughs> yeah, just make like everyone connect. Yeah pictures yeah. and stuff it was nice mm-hmm. um and what about like not being around the theater company what is it that you guys like miss the most honestly just um, like talking think, to them and like bonding with them yeah yeah like being with them and being able to like talk to everyone and like catch up with everyone almost pretty much almost every day if not almost every like literally every day except sunday um <laughs> you would be able to connect to them and like talk to them about things and then talk about um, like what to work with in in, like rehearsals or like certain scenes or just to what to work with in general as members. It was just, I miss talking to them and being with my advisors, being with the members and just being together in general, like with our meetings, because they were really fun. And that's something I would really look forward to on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Yeah, like what I really miss is a distraction because sometimes it's really stressful being in school and you get to just be yourself in front of like people that you really trust and you're able to distract yourself by seeing people do exercises and stuff. And it was just really fun. That's that's what I miss the most, just Mm -hmm. spending time with everyone. What about you, Ariana? Is she there? Yeah. (laughs) Okay. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's funny. <laughs> um, if if um, do you think like all of your um the people from um uh, the, the theater company have all all of you been in contact with each other? Like pretty much everybody's been. Yeah, yeah. we have a group chat, definitely, and we're constantly um, texting all the time. Yeah, we it's we have like um, mm, I'm the the recorder. I always ask them like. Um, for yeah, certain things, I'm here, like, like, like my <laughs> connection is not the best. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so yeah, you you've been in contact with pretty. You think you've been in contact with pretty much everybody from the. Yeah, I, I think we've talked to everyone at this point. That's good. That's good. <laughs> for yeah, because we have to like make posts and stuff to make know. sure that people are involved. Anyway. <laughs> um if if you guys had um you know if if some of your teachers besides mr a you know are watching or listening you know do you guys have anything you would like to tell them or let them know i'm just thankful for the teachers that are still like grading work and making sure Mm -hmm. to answer his questions because i'm sure like everyone has questions and i'm like i'm thankful for the teachers that are on top of it and they are doing everything they can to help the students with their grades and stuff and any questions they have yeah definitely honestly um i really appreciate the teachers who like try to update all the students with like everything because honestly the grading system has been like really really crazy recently um but a lot of teachers are like updating like oh like this is going on or um try to catch up with this because later um the grading system is going to change again or or something like that um i've always appreciated that because i it has been really stressful trying to figure out what's going on because I mean, at this point, no one really knows what's going on, at, like with anything. Um, and before that, I think a lot of teachers I wanted like to thank for just being so like amazing throughout the years. Mostly my senior year, well, I think all my teachers my senior year have been like really, really great and amazing. And I wish I was still there with them, like just to tell them like 
you know, thank you and stuff. Cause it was honestly a pretty cool senior year before like everything happened. And a lot of teachers even before that year have been like really great. Yeah. Yeah. Like the teachers have like been like super patient and like have been trying their best to like help the students and stuff. And I'm really like appreciative of that because I think now that they're at home and they like have kids or stuff, like I think it's harder to attend to both like your family and your students because mm -hmm. yeah. like especially for like the seniors because we like kind of have to graduate. Yeah. Um, so they kind of have to be on top of it and we kind of have to like help as well. So I'm really yeah. appreciative of them being like super patient and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that, uh, you know, from the teachers that I've talked to that that deal with seniors, you know, they're, you know, you guys are, you know, the top priority, you know, you guys are always on their mind because, you know, it's hard, you know, not only the fact that, you know, we left like in such a hurry that yeah. there really wasn't like closure for yeah. anything. Yeah, yeah that's um, what's crazy. Is, mm -hmm. Like we all just left without knowing it was going to be the last day that mm -hmm. we were gonna yeah. Yeah. So that's, you know, that's something that's, you know, so crazy to them. And then the fact that, you know, all these events that you guys, you know, are going to miss because of this whole yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I was talking to Ms. I don't know if you guys know Ms. Lopez, Jennifer Lopez. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was talking to her and yeah, she was uh, really sad. <clears throat> she said that um, the episode with JP and Efrain almost made her cry because just hearing them and just hearing them go through all that stuff about, you know, missing all these events you know kind of like yeah. you know made yeah. her sad um, yeah but yeah i mean it's i know to me like it's it's i'm not a teacher but you know um you know i see you guys around and stuff like that and just last year because last year i had you know my son was there i don't know if you guys know chris castillo mm -hmm. no? well he's he's my son and then all the all his friends like luis uh andrade and all these kids that were there like that graduated like mm. it's hard like not not seeing them anymore so like for you guys is like now we yeah. missed those last three months that you know yeah had... yeah so like we just wish we could have had a last day to say bye to everyone like yeah we, actually knowing it was our last day because mm. like we were told that we were gonna go back and it was like okay whatever and then like we wake up one day and then we get like a call or like an email saying that the rest of the school year is going to be online and it kind of sucked because you didn't get to say goodbye to like your friends or your favorite teachers and stuff like yeah, that yeah definitely it was mm -hmm. it just all happened so quickly yeah 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 and you know i it's i think it's just crazy that um there's so much unknown still yeah um, mm -hmm. like even for us like going back to work and stuff like that it's still like like we don't nobody really knows what's gonna happen um, yeah and and yeah it's 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 just super crazy and and i'm glad that yeah. you know like you guys are you know handling handling it really well um even when i talked to jp and 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 Efrain, you know i was like really surprised of how well you know they were handling the the whole situation and how they understood that you know this is in no way nobody's fault you know it's just yeah something so crazy that nobody could have planned for um and yeah i mean it's crazy and at the same time it's sad but um you know we're, we'll make the best out of it and at the end of the day you know all of us oh, yeah. will will come come out stronger from from this situation and and smarter yeah. and yeah. and you know yeah it's crazy but um is there anything else that you guys would like to add that i didn't ask you or we didn't talk about mm -hmm. Not that comes to mind right now. Yeah, I can't think of anything. Nope. Um, I just want. Oh, and I want to remind you guys that this Friday there's going to be a Zoom meeting for uh, oh yeah senior parents. So. Hmm. Oh really? Uh -huh. I, yeah. think, I think it's at five. I think. Yeah, I've heard about it. Uh -huh. So um, yeah, um, go to the any seniors that are listening to um go to the so this Friday which is the. Uh, what day is it? The twenty fourth. Um, there's yeah. gonna be a, a Zoom meeting, I believe, is at five. So yeah, go to the Calexico High School website and the and the Facebook page. Let me see. Let me just get the right information. So yeah, it's gonna be um Friday at five. Oh, um, all right. 
so make okay. sure you guys are you know stay tuned to that because um it's a parent meeting so that i don't know i, I don't know exactly what they're going to talk about but um just so you guys get informed um i want to thank you guys for taking this time off um your busy schedules <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you um, i really appreciate it you know I'm, I'm, I, mean, uh, I, I like talking to you guys and and kind of like seeing where you guys are at um and sharing you know the stories and you know not forgetting you know all the hard hard work you guys were putting into this your know, next production and yeah. and um hopefully uh the the next class can carry the baton and you know can you know you know make you guys proud from the work you guys yeah i'm sure they will yeah. Um, yeah and 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 you know some of you guys are saying about you know what's sad that you didn't get, get to say bye to your teachers but you know it's not like they're not going to be there next year so you can always i'm sure they'll, they'll oh, yeah. be glad to see you i'm, I'm already planning that <laughs> oh yeah I'm, get, I'm definitely going back one day yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So um, thank you, thank you so much for be, uh, taking this time off. Um, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Stephanie, thank you. Danielle, and Ariana, thank you so much. Um, and um, yeah, thank um, you, we'll thank you, thank you so much. All righty, guys, thank you guys for listening and watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank Peace. you. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye.